hello everyone uh, welcome to this video in this video we will learn about uh, how we can integrate r in tableau and also we will see uh, one use case of a detection of outliers uh, using the r code first things first uh, let's see uh, what r is so as most of you know, uh, R is a popular statistical language uh, used to perform uh, statistical analysis and uh, predictive analytics such as uh, linear and non-linear modeling, uh, statistical tests, uh, time series analysis, classification, clustering, etc. Um, the R console uh, primarily utilizes uh, a command line uh, interface, but there are many um, graphical user interface uh, tools uh, like R Studio available uh, for download to make it easier to write R programs and most of them are free. As a free open source language uh, there is a, a huge community of contributors who continually create new packages uh, for R that define advanced statistical functions that were not originally built in R. So, these packages can be downloaded into R to expand the R's capabilities. Uh, most of these packages are also developed and made available for free. Uh, it is for the reason that R has become so popular and why it continues to gain functionality over time. So uh, what are the R capabilities we uh, can use in Tableau? So for this video, I will just focus on the Tableau desktop. Uh, uh, so Tableau server is not the scope of this video but there is definitely you can uh, bring uh, R into your Tableau server and for Tableau online and Tableau public um, are not supporting R right now. So for the desktop uh, following are the four uh, built-in functions that are used to call specific R models and functions. Uh, for example, like script underscore real, uh, which will return the real number uh, script underscore str, which uh, return the string values and script underscore int, which will return the integer and script underscore a bool a boolean, which will return the boolean values. So these are the four built in functions we can use. Uh, so what capabilities of R are not available in Tableau? Uh, so, so Tableau can only integrate with R through the calculated functions uh, described in previous slide. This means uh, there are several core capabilities of R that cannot be utilized directly in Tableau itself. For example, cannot export data from Tableau into R directly to run uh, a new model outside of using the script underscore functions. Uh, and also the visualizations created in R cannot be imported directly into Tableau. However, uh, image files or R visualizations or the URLs to R visualizations may be used in Tableau dashboards. So uh, here is the uh, outline of the steps how you can uh, do uh, in order to integrate R to Tableau. So first of all, obviously you need to have a R install on your um, PC or laptop. Uh, this is not the scope of the video that I will show you how to install the R, but I will quickly walk you through how you can download and install R in your um, machine. And then the second step would be to download and install the R SER package. Uh, so as I mentioned, there are different packages you can install in R to increase the capabilities of R. So this uh, R server package you can download and install in your R and which will be very crucial to play a connecting link between R and Tableau. So this is the uh, command you can type in R. I will show you in the demo how you can do that. And then um, we're gonna, uh, so by using that, you're gonna connect Tableau to the server. Uh, so also these are the steps how you can do that and I will uh, also walk you through uh, these steps as well and the lastly then we can uh, we'll see a use case of uh, outlier detection by using uh, the script uh, underscore real function here uh, to detect the outlier the multivariate outliers 
uh, I will come back to this R code later once we have the calculated field. Uh, first, uh, I will show you how you can download the R instance um, onto your PC. So, this is the website where you can go and download the R from. In order to download the R, you need to have, uh, you need to go to the CRAN mirror. So, if you click on the download R, then uh, you will select a CRAN mirror which is kind of like close to your location so I'm gonna uh, I'll select the Dallas University here Halifax so basically if you close if you choose like the closest uh, server then it will be easier for when you ping something through R uh, you will get the results quickly so here you can just download R for Windows and just uh, follow the for the inst installation instructions and you'll have the R installed on your PC. So once you have the R server installed, uh, this is uh, the interface will look like. Um, and again, like this is not the tutorial where I will show you how you can write code in R. Uh, this is not the scope of the video. So we will install uh, the package, which is R server. So I will just copy this uh, code and I will run that on our instance I'm gonna paste that here and so uh, it's asking me to choose the CRAN mirror so I'm gonna choose uh, the CRAN which is close closer to me so it will be easier, uh, it will be more faster. So I will choose Canada, Ontario here. Click OK. And so now it's installing the package. So now uh, the package has been downloaded and also it's uh, successfully unpacked and installed uh, on the R, R, R instance here. And now I am calling that RSR package by uh, typing library function here. So after this, we can go back to uh, Tableau. And so now we can, uh, we're gonna connect Tableau to the R server. So for that, we're gonna, and we're gonna go to the help and click on setting and performance. Then we're gonna click on manage analytics extension and connections. So here, uh, you don't, really had to do anything the R server is already selected here and there will be an another option which is tap pi uh, this way you can connect to the python but again this is not the scope of this video so we're going to keep this as R server and the server will be localhost and the port will be 6311 as it is and you can click on test connection so you'll, you'll get this message that's successfully connected to the uh, analytics extension. That means you, we are connected uh, Tableau to R. So for this demo, uh, we will detect the outliers, the multivariate outliers. Um, and for that, like I'm using a sample superstore data here. It's just like basic visualizations I created. I dragged some of sales to the rows and order date uh, onto columns uh, and I'm seeing this data by week and yeah this is the data we're going to use to identify the outliers in so basically what I did I created this calculated field uh, I will show you what that calculation is uh, so we can go back to the R code where I explain all this uh, R code. Um, so basically, um, from here till here is the R code. So what I'm doing here is I'm bringing uh, MV outlier library to the R, and within that MV outlier uh, package, I am using assign to function which takes the numeric variable, which is argument one. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use that 
uh, sum of sales as a numeric variable and Arg argument one here is just a place placeholder for this sum of sales and this w final zero one will be the output and it is a vector of ones and zeros where value one mean uh, means corresponding row in data set contains potential multivariate outliers and C bind is a function which is not related to MV outlier, uh, but which combines the vector uh, matrix or data frame uh, by columns. And the dollar sign here basically is the extract operator in our uh, use to extract the content from the object. So this is the R code and I'm using script real function uh, available in Tableau and just passing through the R code and then later what I did I created this if statement so if whatever this uh, statement provides is equal to zero then mark that as outlier else it's a normal and then I ended the if statement and I click OK uh, we need to install MV outlier package in R as well so we can use the similar command like this one install dot packages uh, and we can call here mv outlier and hit enter to install the package i will not install it right now because i already had installed this one we need to install this mv outlier package here so we can use that in tableau to find the outliers so if you bring this uh, calculated field uh, to the colors it will do the calculations and as you can see it will identify the outliers um, in this data set so the good thing about this one is if you uh, decided to uh, change the details of the order from a week to a month then you can do that as well and it will again ping R and then get the data from the R into Tableau and it will recalculate the outliers based on the monthly data. So you can go back to the week and it will do the same again. It will ping the R server and it will calculate the uh, outliers again. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.